Y esta mañana tuve el gusto de platicar, no, esta semana, esta semana, más bien el fin de semana, tuve el gusto de platicar con el doctor Joe Dispensa, un médico investigador que dedica su vida a sanar personas a través de la neurociencia y la física cuántica. El doctor Joe Dispensa ayuda a los seres humanos a disfrutar de una vida más sana con un método científico. Esta es la primera parte de esa conversación. Doctor Joe Dispensa, you're very famous and we know a little about you. We know you had a very bad accident and I want to know if that accident uh, put you to, to develop this method of curing people and yourself. Yeah, I think for some of us, in order for us to wake up, we need a wake-up call. Yes. And I think that was my wake-up call in 1986. I was in a triathlon in Palm Springs, California. Uh -huh. And I got run over by a truck and broke six vertebrae in my spine. And, and as you know, the typical procedure for uh, that type of compression fracture is yes. long rods in your spine. And yes. So I had bone fragments on my spinal cord and I had the neural arch of one vertebrae compressing against the cord and the protocol is Harrington rods and so I, I decided against the surgery after four opinions and I thought well I'm not going anywhere and I'm not doing anything uh, I'm laying face down and let's see if I could heal myself and so that began my journey of seeing if our inner world could begin to affect our outer world. So uh, which would you say is the objective of your method? Well <coughs> I think the most important thing that I want people to realize is that they have within their reach all the biological and neurological machinery to begin to be a creator in their life instead of a victim to their life. And so most of us, I think, wait for a crisis or disease or trauma or accidents to really decide to make some type of change. And I want people to realize that they can change without having that and they can It can change in a state of joy and inspiration instead of pain and suffering. Can everyone reach their own goal through your method? Um, you know, I don't know the answer to that question because I think it would be arrogant to say that because um, some people's goals may be way bigger than I could imagine. But what I do know is in studying what we've done, what I've done is I've had my own personal transformation And then I thought, gosh, is there anybody else that has, have ever ha has ever had a spontaneous remission or a healing? Uh -huh. And so then I began to interview people from all over the world. I went to 17 different countries and interviewed hundreds of people with different health conditions that got better. Mm -hmm. And so then I came up, or st by studying them, what those principles were that got those people better. And then I said, well, if it worked on them, and if I could use science as a way to demystify what they did, could we teach it to other people? And so as we started teaching it to other people, I never thought that I would see people heal from cancer or diabetes or MS or lupus or rare genetic disorders that medical science has no solution for. So my expectations have been exceeded. Uh, and that's kind of a good sign.